You know, we wanted to make a show that was kind of harkening back to like sitcoms that we liked growing up. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, we don't have noses! <gasps> sort of fish out of water, aliens living amongst humans with all their weird sci-fi tech and doohickory. Courtesy of Corvo. And get up to some pretty wacky misadventures. Are you ready to do what it takes? You mean sex stuff? That's possible. Because they're aliens, you don't totally know their limits and where they come from. Oh. <laughs> We're aliens. Our ways are mysterious. We can't be judged by human standards. They kind of like it on the Earth. They like the materialism. The only thing that matters is today we're getting a jet ski. And being a part of the problem. It's like a really fun Justin Roilandy kind of show. Like those designs are so Roilandy. I don't know how else to describe them. He's got that loose, rambling way he finds it in the booth. I could not replace you with a million sexually hard, sexy fun buckets. <laughs> it's very different than Rick and Morty. It's a little more lighthearted. It's not as nihilistic. It's not as much of a mind fuck, I think. For the beginning, we were like, this should be a show that's fun. Just be cool like me. Spooky robes are not cool. You're just jealous of my swish. God, that's so fucking cool. It starts off and it feels familiar. Like a family style animated show? What's dig old Bix? I don't know, some sort of human code. And then we take it to the most insane places you could ever imagine. Check this out, Terry, watch. Wait, wait, wait. Gives you the old one too. Sets you up with a jab, and then jab, jab, yank down your pants, show your little penis in front of your parents. And your parents are like, haven't seen that in a while. The idea of the entire world knows they're there and doesn't really give a shit. Go back to your home in the abyss. Not all aliens are from the abyss. Being able to tell stories that are insane and not have to worry about the military coming in and people freaking out and completely change the way we could write the show. Because we are following our stupidest instincts, we're letting them just do the funny thing instead of the logical thing. It can be so dark and I'm still laughing. Show, 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 show. Yeah. Mm. I do yeah. hate myself a little bit for liking the show. I'm like, oh, come on, you're a better person than this. By the way, I got some heroin. You guys want to do heroin? For some reason, in context, it doesn't seem that bad. But when I say it out loud, it just seems so morbid and dark. I'm baking cookies in here. Does baby want to lick my spoon? Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. My biggest dream is I want people to watch the show and just shit themselves from shock and awe. I want all that was once in out. It's a hashtag. <laughs> That's all I want. Hey, it's Lisa now. I hope you liked that video. Do you think it will be a success? Well, do you know what are the top five grossing animated movies? Coming in at number five is Despicable Me from 2017. Number four is Toy Story from 2010. Number three is Minions from 2015. Number two is Incredibles 2 from 2018. And number one, which I'm pretty sure you can guess, is Frozen. Now remember to click here below to subscribe or on the site for more great content.